This is William McKnight, One Good Knife Sound Design from the MachineWarehouse.com with a tutorial for MachineMasters.com. Basically, what I'm going to show you is how I set up my expansions for release. So, first, I set up my file structure. So, I create a new folder. I'm going to name it Example Expansion. All right, now we got the expansion folder. I'm going to go ahead and set up some internal folders in there, mainly the sample folder. And inside the sample folder, I want to go ahead and set up the drum sample folder. Well, I usually just say drums because it's inside the sample folder. So, And now what I want to do is I actually want to put just one wave file off in this folder. So when I import it off into machine, the samples in machine will be listed under the alias and not the actual hard drive location. So we're going to go ahead and do that in just a second. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop my wave file in there. All right, so now we got example expansion, samples, drums, kicks, and then we actually got the one wave file so we can actually set up the structure of the folder under the alias. So now we go in the machine, and I've already had the folder open, so I'm just going to refresh the file. Now we see example expansion. There's my folder. And what I want to do is I want to click import. And I think I've our what I usually do is click add new and type in the name of the folder or the expansion folder that I'm adding, but I think I've already done this, so I'm gonna go look for it real quick. Yep, there it goes. So we got example expansion. That's the only thing I'm gonna do right now, and I'm gonna click OK. Now, what we just did was set up the structure under this folder. Now, I want it to be saved under the alias. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into preferences, go to user paths, see it says boot drive example expansion. Now, I'm going to go ahead and type in exp. Now, I have my alias. So we're basically set up every wave file that I actually put off in this expansion, this example expansion folder. All the samples that I put in, what I go in and do, I'd highlight all of my uh, my wave files and then I'd import them. And when I import them, it's gonna save them under the alias instead of the boot drive where the actual location is. So I'm actually go ahead and, and do one real quick. I got uh, two samples right here uh, from a lead or a bass instrument I did. I can't remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create in the samples folder an instrument sample folder. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to drag this folder into the instrument folder. There we go. Now we have new wave files that we need to import. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the machine, refresh my files. There's my instrument folder. Okay, so now what I wanna do is, uh, now that I got my folder in here. All right, now what I wanna do is highlight both of them and click import. Then I'll go to example expansion, which is the expansion I'm building. And I usually list them under instrument samples. And a lot of times I'll do the subtype, but for right now I'm not. I'm just going to click OK. Now, machine just saved it under the alias instead of the actual hard drive that the samples are, are, are actually at. So now I can drag them in here.
and we can stretch them out to build a little instrument. Alright. Okay, let's change that from one shot. Alright, here we go. There we go. We got a nice little playable machine instrument. And since I already went ahead and imported my wave files, then all I have to do is save the sound. Uh, let's see. I'm going to save the sound to... Where did I have it at? I had it on the desktop, right? Yep. Example extension. And let's create a new folder. And... Create. And we'll just call it sound one for demonstration purposes and hit save. Now we have our sound. Sound one. There we go. We go in and edit it. List it under example expansion and take it user off. And let's just call it a synth. And maybe a base. Hit apply. Okay, now we got a tag. And just click off the edit. Hit the disk button and we'll see example expansion, synth. There we go. All right. Now, just to show you that it's actually working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into machine preferences. We got in the user path and I'm going to remove. Click OK and close out of machine. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to move it to a different hard drive. So we'll move it here. Now we're going to delete, move that folder to the trash. Now we have the example expansion over here. Now we'll open up machine again. Alrighty, go to disk. And go to storage. Oh, what did I call it? There it goes. Example expansion. Now we're going to import. Just click OK because I've already did most of the attributes. So now we go out of the disk, go into preferences, and we're going to user paths. And we're going to type in the alias. Click OK. Now, there you go. And we're right back where we started. And that's how you basically set up the photo structure for releasing machine expansions. Uh, it's your, been your boy uh, William McKnight for One Good Knob Sound Design from the MachineWarehouse.com. Make sure you check out MachineMasters.com, and I'm out.